GR number 938333, September 28, 1985. So, Caro D. Ramirez, Petitioner vs. Honorable Court of Appeals and Esther S. Garcia, Respondents. A civil case damages was filed by Petitioner Socorro D. Ramirez in the Regional Trial Court of Quezon City alleging that the private respondents, Esther S. Garcia, in a confrontation in the latter's office, allegedly vexed, insulted, and humiliated her in a hostile and furious mood, and in a manner offensive to, pet to petitioner dignity and personality, contrary to morals, good customs, and public policy. In support of her claim, petitioner produced a verbatim transcript of the event and sought moral damages, attorney's fees, and other expenses of litigation and the amount of 610,000 pesos in addition to cost, interest, and other reliefs awardable at the trial, co trial court's discretion. The transcript on which the civil case was based was called from a tape recording of the conf confrontation made by petitioner. The transcript reads as follows. Good afternoon, ma'am. Ano ba ang nangyari sa'yo? Nakalimot ka na kung paano ka napunta rito? Porket member ka na? Magsumbong ka kung anong gagawin ko sa'yo. Tapos iniwan mo. Hindi, ma'am. Pero ilang beses na nila akong binalikan, sabing gawin. Ito ang masasabi ko sa'yo. Ayaw ko mag-explain ka. Kasi hanggang 10 p.m., kinabukasan hindi ka na pumasok. Ngayon ako ang babalik sa'yo. Nag-apply ka sa states. Nag-apply ka sa review mo. Kung kakailanganin ng certification mo, kalimutan mo na kasi hindi ka na makakahingi sa akin. Hindi ma'am, kasi ang ano ko talaga noon, ikukontinue ko up to 10 a.m. Bastos ka, makalimutan mo na kung paano ka pumasok dito sa hotel. Magsumbong ka sa inyo kung gusto mo. Makalimutan mo na kung paano ka nakapasok dito. Do you think that on your own makakapasok ka dito kung hindi ako? Panunumbiyohan na kita. Hihintayin ko na sana, ma'am, ang duty ko. Kaso ilang beses na ako binalikan doon ng mga yun. Nakalimutan mo na ba kung paano kang pumasok sa hotel? Kung on your own merit, alam ko namang kung gaano ka kabobo. Marami ang nag-apply, alam kong hindi ka papasa. Kumuha kami ng exam noon. Oo, pero hindi ka papasa. Eh, bakit ako ang nakuha ni Dr. Tamayo? Kukunin ka dahil sa akin. Ready sana. Huwag mong ipagmalaki na may utak ka kasi wala kang utak. Akala mo ba makukuha ka dito kung hindi dahil sa akin? Explain ako. Huwag na, hindi ako magpapa-explain sa'yo. Makaalala ka kung paano ka pumarito. Butang ina, sasabi-sabihin mo ka mag-anak ng nanay at tatay mo ang mamagulang ko. Wala na akong pakialam dahil nandito ka sa loob. Nasa labas ka, pwede ka hindi pumasok. Okay yan, nasa loob ka, umalis ka na dun. Kasi ma'am, binabalikan ako ng mga taga New Union. Nandiyan na rin ako, pero huwag mong kalimutan na hindi ka makakapasok kung hindi dahil sa akin. Kung hindi mo yun kinikilala, okay lang sa akin, dahil tapos ka na. Inaano ko ma'am na utang na loob. Wag na lang, hindi mo utang na loob. Kasi kumbaga, nilapastangan mo ko. Paano kita nilapastangan? Mabuti pa lumabas ka na. Hindi ako makikipag-usap sa'yo. Lumabas ka na. Magsumpong ka. As a result of petitioner's recording of the event and alleging that the said act of secretly taping the confrontation was illegal, Private respondent filed a criminal case before the Regional Trial Court of Pasay City for violation of Republic Act 4200 entitled An Act to Prohibit and Penalize Wiretaping and Other Related Violation of Private Communication and Other Purposes. An information charging petitioner of violation of the said act dated October 6, 1988 is quoted herewith. The under-assigned assistant city fiscal accuses 
Socorro de Ramirez of violation of Republic Act No. 4200 committed as follows, that on or about the 22nd day of February 1988 in Pasay City, Metro Manila, Philippines, and within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, the above-named accused, Socorro de Ramirez, not being authorized by Esther S. Garcia to record the latter's conversation with said accused, did then and there willfully, unlawful, and feloniously, with the use of tape recorder, secretly record the said conversation, thereafter communicate in writing the contents of the said recording to other person. Contrary to law, Pasay City, Metro Manila, September 16, 1988, Mariano M. Coneta, Assistant City Fiscal.